Hey guys, so today is day seven of uh, the blowout and today is wash day. <laughs> I just did a really intense workout so I kind of, you know, sweat a little bit and all that. So yeah, I'm going to wash my hair and I just wanted to show you guys. Oh lord have mercy. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to section off my hair. And then I'm going to do a pre-poo. I'm going to do my Greek yogurt, uh, da -da -da -da, honey, <laughs> coconut oil, and olive oil uh, treatment. And leave that in for like an hour. And then um, rinse it out. But what I'm going to show you guys after I section off my hair, I'm going to show you guys how my hair reverts. I'm going to use my handy dandy spray bottle. <laughs> And in the spray bottle, I have conditioner, coconut oil, tea tree oil for my scalp, and um, I believe some olive oil. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and when I spritz it, you're going to see my curls come back, so you guys can trust me that I didn't get any heat damage. Hey guys, so I sectioned off my hair, and um, I have my pre-poo. I don't know if you can see that, but it's what I just said it was. Greek yogurt, coconut oil, olive oil, and uh, honey. <laughs> yeah, so and honey. So yeah, so let's spritz. Let's see how this works out. Normally I have to like saturate my hair. I see my curls. <laughs> so what I'm going to use this, you know, spritz bottle and all that stuff for, I'm going to detangle my hair, well, finger detangle it, just to allow um, the pre-poo to penetrate my strands better. It's just easier to get, you know, good results if there's no uh, knots in there and all that good stuff. Just probably a little more here. Hello, curls. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. So, yeah, they're back. Um, yeah, I'm going to put in my Greek yogurt pre-poo and then you know do the whole wash and everything and afterwards I'm going to deep condition with uh, conditioner coconut oil olive oil and then leave that in for another hour because you know I haven't spritzed my hair since I blow dried it so I'm trying to like get all that moisture back in there so not only am I going to pre-poo I'm also going to deep condition afterwards for an hour yeah so here you guys go this is what my hair looks like after seven days of not putting any water to it or anything and rocking that blowout so yeah my curls are back I'm excited I miss them <laughs> and of course my shrinkage is back <laughs> hey guys so I just finished putting the Greek yogurt um, pre-poo on my hair and I'm really happy I had like zero to no like breakage I didn't have a lot of shed hair and um I mean I was kind of surprised I thought you know without moisturizing my hair for a while my hair might be dry and brittle so it might um be a little weak so it might um break a little bit more but it didn't like I had practically zero to none <laughs> shed hair so I, I like that that means my hair is like in a really good like healthy state and I took care of it before I blow dried it I made sure I, I added extra extra moisture in there so I wouldn't have like this problem or anything like that so yeah I'm gonna leave it in for an hour I'm just gonna put on my um, plastic cap and then I'm just gonna put on my silk cap just to generate a little heat and yeah leave it on there for an hour and yeah I'll show you guys the results. Hey guys, so I just rinsed this uh, deep conditioner out and I had this shirt on just to 
stop it from wetting <laughs> my shirt and everything. So let me just show you what my hair looks like, freshly washed. This is like my looser curls. Oh man, it smells so good. Oh, yes. <laughs> so yeah, this is the close-up. Um, so let me show you the back. There's the back, no tighter. Curls nice and fresh and clean. Yay, my curls are back. <laughs> so yeah, so now um, I think I'm just going to do Chunky Twist. Um, and I have my little concoction here. I have um, Shea Moisture's Curling Hand Sink Smoothie. And then I, mel I melted down some coconut oil and put that in there. So I'm going to use that as my little leave-in. Then I'm going to use my High Definition tw Twist Butter. Well, the little bit that's left of it from um, Regia's Sweet Natural line. And then uh, I'm going to use my Natty Butter to seal all of that in. So when I washed my hair, I used Tresemme Natural Shampoo um, to take out the pre-poo. Then afterwards, I followed up with Regia Street Naturals Peppermint Rinse, uh, which has apple cider vinegar and like other oils and stuff in there. So I rinsed that out, and then after that, I did a deep conditioner, which had uh, Tresemme Naturals conditioner, coconut oil, and olive oil and I let that sit in my hair for like, like an hour <laughs> and then I rinsed that out and yeah this is the finished product fresh clean hair and I'm going to twist up my hair in chunky twist so yeah no heat damage I'm happy everything's cool I really took a lot of good care of my hair when um I was doing the blowout I made sure I put a lot of moisture and I had like the oil to protect it. I also used the heat protectant, all that good stuff to make sure that, you know, my hair stayed healthy and everything. Didn't have a lot of shed hair. Um, it was like really good. My hair feels really strong. It doesn't feel weak at all. Um, so yeah, all in all, good experience with the blowout. I would suggest um, if you want to like keep on using this style as like a summer style, I would suggest that if you do leave it for like a, a week like I did and you do a wash and all that stuff um, to wait at least a week or a week and a half to kind of, you know, let your hair get back, <laughs> you know, to how it was and gather all the moisture it needs and, you know, take care of it and stuff like that. Maybe rock it in like a little protective style or just a puff or something before you go ahead and you give it heat again because too much heat. Um, isn't really good for your hair so if you want to do this style I would definitely recommend to have like a week week and a half gap in between even a two week gap if I do blow out my hair again it would probably be two weeks from now um, when I'm ready to wash my hair and then you know I'll just my next style would be the blowout or something like that so yeah just a little tip just to make sure you guys are keeping you know everything cool your hair is nice and um healthy because that's what matters in the end that your hair is healthy and everything so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um this is post blowout <laughs> and just kind of showing you guys what i do after i do like a style like that how i get my hair back um to its regular routine and everything so thanks for watching see you guys in my next video bye